If you live in a state with regulated utilities, you get an electric bill every month from your utility that tells you how much electricity you used and how much it cost. You're like most Americans. You simply accept the bill as an unchanging part of your monthly expenses and either have it paid automatically or quickly write a check. The only time you really think twice is if the bill is unusually high. But even then, consumers rationalize it as a really hot month that needed a lot of air conditioning or the brand new big screen TV you just installed. But have you ever taken the time to think about exactly where that electricity bill comes from? Who decides how much a unit of energy costs? How do you know your utility is doing everything they can to keep costs down and service high? What if another company could provide your electricity more cheaply? Regulated utilities act as monopolies, meaning that they can operate without competition as long as they follow rules designed to protect consumers. States with regulated utilities have a Public Utilities Commission, PUC, typically three to five energy experts who make and enforce the utility rules. The most important of the rules that they make and the one that determines how much electricity costs is called the rate tariff. To determine the rate tariff, the PUC looks at how much it costs the utility to supply their customers with electricity. These costs include the rate base, fixed infrastructure costs like power plants, transmission lines and equipment, as well as operating costs like fuel for the plants and employees. The PUC takes the fixed infrastructure assets, multiplies it by an allowed return rate, and then adds the expenses to determine how much money the utility is allowed to make and therefore how much it can charge per unit of electricity. The result is a system that actually encourages utilities to spend more and be inefficient. Regulated utilities are guaranteed to have their expenses covered, and the more fixed infrastructure they build, the higher the allowed return they can generate. Members of the PUC are often deeply intertwined in state politics and subject to intense lobbying, and they can have dubious results. For example, the Alabama PUC allows Alabama Power Co. to have a 51% higher allowed return on the rate base than what the Connecticut PUC allows United Illuminating Co. Additionally, unless the PUC enacts specific rules limiting the amount of pollution a utility is allowed, there is no incentive for a utility to avoid highly carbon-intensive fuels. Aside from calling their state legislators and the PUC and advocating for change, consumers have no way to fight back. The utility's monopoly prevents them from switching to another electric provider and allowing competition to bring prices down. One of the biggest ways consumers in regulated utility territories can fight back against utilities that abuse their monopoly is by taking advantage of solar rules enacted by the PUC. The most important of these solar rules is net metering, which allows for homeowners to install solar on their homes. Net metering customers can spin their meter forwards when they consume power backwards when they generate power from solar and pay the utility based on their net usage. This protects customers from rising prices due to utility inefficiency, unfair PUC rulings, and carbon-intensive fuel mixes. If you want to learn more about how switching to solar with Power Scout can protect you from the control of monopolistic utilities, visit www.powerscout.com for a free solar analysis and to talk with one of our solar experts. powerscout.com